What's up guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. In today's video we're going to be talking about Black Ops Cold War for the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So Activision has detailed uh, some information about the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 versions regarding like what these next generation versions are going to include, how much they're going to cost, and uh, also regarding crossplay. So before we get into it, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications on them. You guys don't miss out on any more Black Ops Cold War videos because this is the number one place to be for any new Black Ops Cold War news, leaks, information, anything about this year's Call of Duty game. So let's get into it. So first off, let's talk about the pricing for the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 version of Black Ops Cold War. So Activision has confirmed that the next generation versions of Black Ops Cold War are going to be more expensive. They are going to start at $69.99 USD. So the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 versions are $10 more expensive than, for example, the PC or the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One version of Black Ops Cold War. And that is just if you just straight up buy the game for the next generation system. Now they do have a bundle that allows you to buy it for say the PlayStation 4 and you get a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about just going out to say Best Buy or GameStop or Target or something like that and just buying a PlayStation 5 copy of Black Ops Cold War. It's gonna cost you $70. It's also a little interesting though and kind of confusing because Activision has confirmed that, uh, quote, the standard edition for next gen will include a copy for current gen users who want to play on that version too. So it seems like the best, like, kind of option here is basically for you to buy, like, if you're not going to buy this game, you know, of course at launch, say you're buying this game like a month later, maybe for Christmas, and you are planning on getting like a PlayStation 5, if you buy apparently the standard PlayStation 5 version of the game, you'll also get a PlayStation 4 version of the game, where that's also different compared to the like the cross-gen bundle, you know, the upgrade bundle, where that one you buy it for the PlayStation 4 and upgrades to the PlayStation 5. This is kind of the opposite, you buy it for the PlayStation 5, and you also get a copy for the PlayStation 4. So kind of interesting, kind of confusing. I will be posting a follow-up video discussing these special editions about the upgrade bundles, all that stuff, answering all your guys' questions because it is kind of confusing and I want to make sure you guys understand 100% what you are getting. But next up, let's actually talk about crossplay and about post-launch content for Black Ops Cold War. So Activision, once again, they announced more details about Black Ops Cold War and about how the game is going to work and they announced that Black Ops Cold War will feature crossplay on all platforms. So just like in Modern Warfare, we're going to have crossplay between Xbox One, PS4, and PC. But besides that, we're also still going to have crossplay between generations too. So we're going to have crossplay between the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC versions. So your account will transfer on all platforms. So let's say, for example, you know, November 13th, when the game comes out, you buy the game for PlayStation 4, and then say a couple weeks later, you're like, you know what, I want to play the game on PC. You buy the game on PC, your account will be there. Now, you will have to buy the game again. The license doesn't transfer here, but your account and stats do. So like your multiplayer progress, you know, your weapon unlocks, your levels, all that stuff will transfer. And say for Christmas, you get an Xbox Series X and your friends get a PlayStation 5, you will still be able to play Black Ops Cold War together. You know, you can have crossplay between them, you can still party up and still play together regardless of platform. Even if you're on like two different systems, like let's say your friend is on a PlayStation 4 and you're on an Xbox Series X, you can still play that way. Maybe you're on Xbox One, you got a friend who's has a PlayStation 5, you can still play that way. And as for the post-launch content, Activision announced that there will not be a season pass for Black Ops Cold War and that all post-launch multiplayer maps and DLC will be free. Now it's also a little interesting, they just say multiplayer maps. They say that Activision has confirmed a steady stream of content for multiplayer, zombies, and more to come throughout the post-launch season. So it seems like zombies won't be free. Now that could be wrong, it seems like one of those details that we need clarification on. but. As of now, we just know, okay, multiplayer will be free. Is there a possibility zombies could be free? Yeah, maybe, but uh, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. I wouldn't hold my breath. But uh, another quote they say here is that, quote, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will offer a battle pass system and deliver a steady stream of free post-launch content, including multiplayer maps and modes, zombies experiences, along with a robust schedule of in-game community events. So I guess kind of right there, it does say that zombies will be free because it says a stream of free post-launch content, including 
multiplayer maps and modes, zombies experiences. So it seems like zombies will be free this year. So any DLC stuff for zombies will be free. That's kind of cool, and that's pretty exciting. So lastly for this video, let's actually talk about the differences on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. What's that going to be, say, compared to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of the game? Because obviously it's a next generation version of the game. What are the differences going to be? So, I mean, obviously there's going to be like quite a few differences and we're going to be able to find out all those when the game's actually launched on these new generation of systems. But Activision did detail a few things that we can come to expect with these next generation versions of Black Ops Cold War on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. They say, quote, Purchase the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War cross-gen bundle or Ultimate Edition digitally on either platform and unlock the power of next-gen Call of Duty experiences with higher frame rates, hardware-based ray tracing, shorter load times, and more. So, I mean, that's that's all kind of like what we can kind of come to expect. We know that P the PC version of Black Ops Cold War will feature ray tracing with NVIDIA's graphics cards. And shorter load times are pretty much a given because of the fact that both the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 will feature an SSD. And then, of course, you know, higher frame rate. I mean, yeah, it's going to be more powerful hardware. Like, you can kind of even experience that, uh, like, currently with, like, the backwards compatibility modes, like the boost mode on PlayStation 4 Pro. And, uh, I mean, Xbox Series X just kind of has that built in, you know, automatically enabled. Where, let's say you go back and you play a game that is not Xbox Series X enhanced or does not have, like, an enhancement patch for the PlayStation 4 Pro. You can play a game, say, like, Call of Duty Ghost that has no enhancement patches at all. You can play that game at higher frame rates on the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. And it's just because those systems have more powerful hardware in them. So even without an update, without a patch, they can still run better and have higher frame rates. So none of this stuff is really that surprising here. But what I think could actually be kind of surprising is that when it says higher frame rates, I think it'd be kind of interesting if they went for 120 frames per second. Because Halo Infinite actually announced that from multiplayer in Halo Infinite, they're targeting 120 frames per second in multiplayer. Now that is absolutely insane, but uh, I think that's gonna be crazy because I mean, 120 FPS on console, like that's ridiculous. I mean, obviously you're gonna need a screen that can support that, but that would be like just such a cool thing. And I think that'd be really cool for Black Ops Cold War is if you know you have like a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X and you have a compatible display for you to be able to play multiplayer in Black Ops Cold War at 120 frames per second or maybe even above. I mean, because you can already do that on PC, like let's say in Modern Warfare. In Modern Warfare, you can take it all the way up to like a couple hundred FPS, you know, like 400 plus FPS on Modern Warfare and compete with somebody who's playing on console at 60 FPS. So like there is some differences there. So like honestly, it wouldn't even be that much of a stretch for them to see if they can get up to 120 FPS, but I'm sure there's gonna be other differences too. Obviously it's gonna be like they said, like higher frame rates. So like it's probably gonna be more consistent across the board. And also I would pretty much come to assume obviously higher resolutions as well. I, I can pretty much almost guarantee that Black Ops Cold War is gonna run at native 4K on both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I feel like that's pretty much a given. Full native 4K, probably pretty close to a lock, 60 frames per second. But uh, I mean, we're just gonna have to wait and see what other you know details, what other differences the next generation versions will include. I mean, in previous games, like Call of Duty Ghosts, that was a cross-gen title, and Advanced Warfare was as well. They had higher resolution textures on the next generation versions. They had like higher quality shadows. There's a bunch of differences besides just frame rates, ray tracing, and load times, there's still going to be other stuff as well, but okay, guys, I also got to mention here, though, is that when we're talking about this, we're talking about this on, like, say, the Xbox Series X version of Black Ops Cold War, or the PlayStation 5 version of Black Ops Cold War. Now, both consoles will feature backwards compatibility, so you, say you purchase the game on PlayStation 4, yeah, you could insert your PlayStation 4 disc into a PlayStation 5 and play the PS4 version of Black Ops Cold War on your PS5. Now there will still be a difference there. You're not going to be getting, you know, some of these new features here like hardware-based ray tracing. I'm sure you'll be able to get higher frame rates because of um, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, they're going to be more powerful hardware, so you're probably going to have higher frame rates, probably a boost mode on there, shorter load times, of course, because that has an SSD. I mean, you can also do that currently. You can replace your hard drive on an Xbox or a PlayStation with an SSD and already experience shorter load times in virtually every game out there. But uh, I just got to point that out, though, is that, yeah, even if you don't have, like, the proper 
next-gen version of the game, you can still play Black Ops Cold War on your Xbox Series X or PlayStation 4, but you're just not getting the full experience. If you want the full experience for them to fully take advantage of this new hardware, you're going to have to specifically purchase an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 version of the game. Like I mentioned earlier, those are going to be $70 as well. So if you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try my best to uh, actually answer this for you guys. I know a lot of this stuff is really confusing, so I'm gonna try my best to help you guys out. But uh, that is gonna do it for our video today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are newer around here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.